Hi guys, Fernando from Fixipedia. Uh, today we've got a compact, uh, it's made by HP. It's a Presario uh, CK62. And the problem with this one is that it does not have power. It does not have power and it uh, doesn't turn on, no lights, nothing. So, as you can see, Charge is working, 19 volts. Can connect it, and there's no no power lights. It's connected. Doesn't switch on. You do get the three volts. On the power switch 3.3 when you press it it goes to zero but nothing I'm a bit suspicious that this might be a corrupted BIOS chip so we're gonna remove this BIOS chip program it and uh, let's see how it goes I think it might be the solution see you in a minute Okay, sorry about the mess, but I'm all over the place. This is Christmas time, so as you can see, I've got my Christmas decoration here. Uh, okay, the BIOS chip that we're going to remove is this one over here. It's near the I.O. chip. So, here we go, we've got this little chip, and I'm going to go over to the computer to program it, and let's see how it goes. By the way, um, the program that I use is this one, it's a Mini Pro. Mini Pro TL866A. I'll leave the link in the description. And then you've got a bunch of accessories. For this chip, it's gonna be the one that I use the most and the one that is pretty much broken. Someone did the Hard task of breaking this. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, so this accessory is gonna go in here. Just clamp it in down like that. Okay. And your chip, the little indicator that it's got, the little dot, which is pin number one, is always going to be facing uh, the clamp. So the pin number one is going to be the first one over here. Okay. So normally what happens is you grab the clamp. 
it's easy if you grab it with a with some tweezers. This goes down. It's got a, it's got some, um, some springs. Just put it down like that. Let it go up. This is connected via USB, and there's a software that comes with the programmer, so it's easy. Uh, let's see how you do it. Okay, so I've already programmed the BIOS. Let's put some flux over here.
Okay, so the moment of truth. Let's let's see. Connect this LVDS cable. It's sort of in there. Okay. That's cool down enough. Connect the cable. And we've got a light. Let's see if we've got power. We got power, we got the fan spin. And I'm guessing that we're gonna have pitcher. Hmm, but no pitcher. Okay, let's see if everything's connected well. Take out the memory. I'm gonna put in just one memory card. Okay, connect this again. Sometimes what happens is um, there could be problems with the memory banks dirty or something, so that's something I'm gonna check afterwards. Okay, it's got power. Okay, yeah, that was it, so uh, I'm gonna clean out the memory uh, banks and uh, see if it still works. Just give me a second. Let's see, let's switch it off. Sorry about the noise, but I'm gonna use my compressed air. Now what I like to do I grab a cotton swab I've got this little container that has alcohol if you press down alcohol comes out this is uh, isopropylic alcohol the reason that I use this type of alcohol is because it evaporates very very quickly and doesn't leave a residue so Let's clean the contacts. Clean this one as well. Okay, so they clean. We just put everything back together again. I can see that there's a little oxidation on this memory, so I'm probably going to change it to this. But just for testing purposes. Okay, so here's an update. Um, the memory was bad, and I had to change the BIOS chip. I had to grab another, this is a one megabyte BIOS chip, I had to change it because it was corrupted again. So, my thought is the BIOS chip is really, there's some type of uh, problem that it will work while it's hot, then when it cools down it stops working. So, I already programmed another one, changed the, the RAM, I got another RAM that's the same speed and we're gonna test it now so fingers crossed okay it's got power turns on there you go it's got picture so it's working I'm just gonna put everything together clean it up change the thermal paste uh, clean the ventilation and um, put in the hard drive, test it, and I'll just show you in a minute. See you. Okay, so as you can see, computer's working. Uh, all I'm going to do now is just test it, have it working uh, for a few hours, see how it goes. And that's that, so... Um, 
if you get the same model CK, CK, uh, CQ62 uh, with uh, doesn't switch on, no lights, anything uh, try programming the BIOS first and if you have any troubles uh, switch the BIOS uh, chip as well, okay? So thanks, bye bye.